so I guess I should. Okay. We are life. We are life. Let me just slowly feel what it means to be life. Because we are live now. And um, maybe I should just say that I'm really glad that you're here and you're watching us. Welcome to our temple. This is our temple. And uh, we are Dream Adoption Society. Dream Adoption Society. We, we've been working hard to create this world and other worlds. And it's Rob who is standing here and recording this. And it's Jim. It's Danusha. It's Isa, it's Anastasia, it's Krzysztof, and it's Sebastian, and it's Janek. I hope I didn't leave anybody out of this list. We've been uh, reading recently a huge book a book that that's been um, created by a a writer Philip K Dick you probably know him and if you don't you, you maybe you should probably read some of his books because they're really interesting and his uh, book that we've been uh, reading recently is called uh, it's a very difficult title for me to to say, but it's exergesis. I think it's the, that's the way I should spell it. It's ex exergesis, and uh, and it's uh, it's it's an amazing book. He he wrote it when late in his life. You know, he was. He had this experience, an amazing experience that changed his life, and and uh, and I won't say much about the about this experience because this experience is uh, was um, was a huge one, you know. And uh, I guess uh, some of you and some of us. <laughs> Uh, we we kind of uh, have those experiences, you know, that ex those experiences that, that change our lives completely, you know, completely. You, so you live your life, and you think that your life is, is this, you know, this, and then suddenly something happens out of the blue, and and then you know everything has changed and you know I still I'm still waiting for this experience you know most of us probably most of us we're still waiting for this experience but Philip K. Dick had this experience and and this is so it's a it's a it, it's, it's huge man it's huge so what can I say what can I say other than that I'm just I'm just really glad you're here and just enjoy the show. Enjoy everything that, that's going to happen here because no one knows really what's going to happen because it's it's a pure journey. It's a pure journey. So just just um, do whatever you want and enjoy it. So thank you very much. Hello and hello and hello and hello. Jim? 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 I'm, I'm here. I'm here then. Let's enter the. Um... So we're going in. We're going inside. 
Just want to look at it one more time before we go. Hello. Hello. Okay. Did they go? Okay, I'm coming. I'm Whoa. coming. Jim. Yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. There we go. session let's meditate together to have a good beginning that's a very what good do you idea. think yeah let's i think do it's it. a good idea yeah. yeah it's a very good idea yeah. it's ah. a very good idea it's a very good idea try to feel, try to feel your body Try to feel your body, body, digital body, physical body, digital and body, and stretch. Stretch, stretch. Stretch as you would just as you would just uh, get up from your bed. Yes, exactly. And uh, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. By exhaling longer and you inhale, your breath will naturally slow and, and calm down. We should all calm down. Yeah. Let's all calm down. And do this for a few breaths. You can Sight. come and join us. Feel free. Be with your breath. The present moment. Don't make a future breath. Don't make a want to try? I invite it. But don't make a future breath. Be in a present moment. Don't make a breath if you don't want to make a breath. Notice your thoughts. Join us. Join Approach this us. exercise with an attention to simplify and to slow down. Allow your body to relax. Yeah. Uh, my <sighs> Notice your thoughts and don't allow them to disturb you. And now we will do. Yeah. <laughs> And now we will do the Qigong. Qigong is a um, traditional Chinese Asian exercise. Let's gather together closer. Come closer. Yes, We're don't be right. Do some Qigong. Chiki -chikong, and chiki -chikong, bend your knees. Chiki -chikong, chiki -chikong. And open your feet a little bit. And uh, at the front of your belly, put your hands here as you would grab um, a bowl. Yes, exactly. Beautiful. And by, by doing a deep breath again, we bend to the side. To the right and to the left. Yes. To the right, to the left. And uh, we are breathing. We are breathing so deep. No one and can breathe deeper. 
our hands are at the front of our body and we we wave and I want to hear you breathing don't forget to beautiful and a few more and stretch to the sky and shake a little bit shake your body stretch to the sky and breathing out anything that no longer serves you stretch to the sky and let's let's gather together let's let's, let's hug together. each other let's hug each other let's try to Don't touch each other Try to touch each other. Try to touch. Try to touch. And let's give each other. Um, a small massage to Yannick. Yeah, give me small massage. I like small massage. Mm, yeah. yeah. Just do it. Just do it. Just, just, just be careful because my body is very sensitive. I'm so sensitive. Yeah. My, you can massage, massage my. Yeah, you can also try. Mm-hmm. Massage my belly. <laughs> massage my belly now. Yeah. Oh, tika, tika, tika. yeah. Yeah, it's actually. It's actually really, really working. I and like it. Scratch him. Scratch him. Scratch. But just don't scratch it too hard. Just, just be careful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have a wet dream. Allow your body to surrender. Allow yourself to surrender. Surround yourself. Allow your body to surrender. To surround. You don't Feel have anything it. to lose. Feel your roots. Feel your roots. Feel your roots. They're here. They are here. Exactly here. My roots. Yes. These are your I'm roots. I'm rooted to this ground. I'm rooted to this ground. I cannot move anywhere else. Even if I... And where is Jim? Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. So, let's come to Jim. Jim, welcome here. Come here. Come to the circle. Come to the top. And tell us your story, Jim. This is Jim, no? This is Jim. I don't know who is Jim. Everybody is Jim, you know? Everybody is And let's... Everybody is Jim. Let's try to lift him. I will try to leave him. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. let's do let's do our best. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. On three. On three. One. Wah, wah. One. Two. Three. Three. Jim, <laughs> you are different. You are so different, Jim.
saying anything. It's okay to not say anything. Exactly, I yes, agree with is. you. Hundred percent, hundred percent, man. Let's I'm with you. Let's. Okay. Do you need a massage? No. Oh. Do you Hello. need? Hello. What? Nothing. Oh. Oh. Oh, you. Oh. Oh, you. Me? Oh. All, all cattle rest upon their pasturage. The trees and the plants flourish. The birds flutter in their marshes. Their wings uplifted in adoration. To be. Oh. Listen, guys. Here we are. Oh, there's... Here we are. Here you are. I want to say, first of all, that the primordial source of all our knowledge lies with the ancestors ancestors of the Dogon people in Western Sudan in Africa who got their cosmogony and their cosmology directly from the three-eyed invaders who visited a long time ago the three-eyed invaders are deaf and mute and and telepathic. They could not breathe in our atmosphere. And they had the elongated skull of Akhenaten. And they emanated from a planet in the star system, Sirius. And although they had no hands, uh, they had they had uh, picture picture like claws, like a crab, and they were they were great builders. Covert influence our history towards a fruitful end. Our world is still secretly ruled our world is still secretly ruled by the hidden race descended from Akhenaten and uh, the knowledge that it, he has is the information of the macro mind of the macro mind there is one mind but under this one mind, two principles contend. The 
one mind lets in the light and then it lets in the dark. It lets in the light and lets in the dark. So, like I said, he doesn't let in the light and then take away the light. The one mind, and I say, I shouldn't, shouldn't say he. The one mind lets in the light and then lets in the dark. Have you ever let in the dark? The dark is something. It comes in. It's not the absence of light. So think of the one mind. Uh, the one mind, we are in the one mind. And the, I just want to say that I want to sketch out how I mean this all of this is information all everything in the world is, is um, the phenomenal world doesn't really exist it uh, we make it we hypostatize it hypostasize it means um, we make it feel solid we make it seem solid we give it some sort of uh, material foundation. We hypostatize it. This is information. And when when an object in, in the phenomenal world moves or changes, that's the change in information. And and it's information inside the mind. It's, it's, it's not just information, it's a story, okay? And this story is happening when we move. You see, I move my hand. That's something, that's the story. Now, the problem is we can't read the story. We're in the story. We're information in the story, and the story is happening. But we can't read the story. Now, the story of the mind is not just a story, it's a story about it's a story about the death of a woman. And so this story is not, it, it is the story we are in. And it's the story about a death of a woman. A woman who died a long time ago. And uh, they say that one of the most tragic things, that one of the most tragic subjects is the death of a, of a young woman. And this one was one of the primordial twins. She was half of a divine syzygy. And the purpose of this story is so that the mind doesn't forget her. The mind, which which we're, it, we're flowing information in. The mind doesn't want to forget this. So all of the work of the brain consists of a permanent record of her existence. And if the story could be read, it would be understood this way. All the information processed by the brain and experienced by us as the arranging and rearranging and moving of physical objects, this is, it's all an attempt at preserving her or preserving her memory. And 
all the stones and the rocks and the sticks and the amoebas are traces. So the mind is not talking to us, but the mind is just talking by means of us. And the narrative is passing through us. And the sorrow of the story infuses us irrationally. We don't know why. We don't know why. There is a streak of the irrational in the world, soul, in the soul of the world. We should be able to hear this information, or rather we should be able to follow this story as a neutral voice inside of us, but something has gone wrong. All, all of creation, all creation is a language. And, and, and it's nothing but language. And for some reason, we can't read it. We can't read it outside, and we can't hear it inside us. So what I want to say is we have become idiots. Uh, the word idiot comes from the word private, like idiomatic, idiosyncratic, idiom, idiots. We have become idiots because we each have become private and we no longer share the common thought of the brain, except on a subliminal level.
When the fledging and the egg chirps in the egg, thou givest him breath therein to preserve him alive. When thou hast brought him together to the point of bursting the egg, he cometh forth from the egg to chirp with all his might. He goeth about upon his two feet when he, he hath come, come from, from there from. 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 How manifold are thy works, they are hidden from before us. O oh, soul God, whose powers no other possesseth, thou didst create the earth according to thy heart while thou wast alone. Men all cattle, large and small, all that go about upon their feet, all that are on high, that fly with their wings. Thou art in my heart. There is no other that knoweth thee save thy son, Ignatan. Thou hast made him wise in thy designs, and in thy might. The world is in thy hand. It was built over the once deserted town, you know? There was nothing here. It was a desert. It was nothing. It was just garbage. But then they built the, the, the Maple Acre. And there's a straight street here and straight street here. And, um... Like Locust? Locust Solace? 
I don't know, like Locus, like the bu like the bug. You know, it Locus. came here and it killed all the crops in the area. Fucking man, it was and and uh, and it was a disaster. You know, all the crops in the area was were was lost. It was they were killed by the locust. Locust. Which was comparable only to Eden itself. Yeah, yeah, well, it's exactly how it was before the locust, you know, came and... That you also true. live here? You live okay. here? In this neighborhood? Yeah, I'm the na I'm a neighbor. Which, which house is yours? Oh, my, mine is in the back, you know, these, these houses are for the rich guys. And mine is in the... like, uh, back. In the poor section. In the poor section, well, that's how you call it. Uh, I, I call it uh, just, just my house, you know, my house. He got his house from his father, he doesn't work now though. We we bought our house with our own money. My husband works very hard. My father was working here very hard. He deserved your um, he deserved your uh, respect. My father respected your father. I was good in not going to school. <laughs> you know, I felt that it's nothing, nothing, nothing for me. So, what do you do now? About what? About the dog What's you had? Dog? What? What? A dog. Dog. A, dog. a dog? A dog or a duck? My dog. dog. I never had a dog. Hey you, did you have a dog? You see? He got a puppy from his daddy. Oh, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna puke now, I'm gonna puke now. I wanna know, I wanna know the story about your puppy. That was very oh, mean. I to know the story about fucking neighborhood. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's so, so fucking... Stupid people here, living here, only this is crazy, you know? The world is falling apart, you know? There's so many problems. Oh, no. about puppies, you know? They don't see, they don't see the... Oh. I wonder what's happened to that puppy. Or is she already above us? You know, this is crazy. That I hate it. I... Mental, mental. No, he sometimes goes into other walls a little bit, but he's he's normal. Oh, okay. Well, let me let me like show you some. Uh... Some stuff that, that, that you don't see, huh? Okay. You want to see? I mean, I'm gonna destroy it. So let's go yeah, here. Like... I didn't keep her. Maple Acres. Beautiful. Beautiful and secure place. The maple something. Acres. And acres. Acres. Okay. And here, at some point, Off, then something changed here. You see, then something changed. A great tornado hit. Here. Here is a tornado. You don't see it? No. And Buck, Buck's mother, Buck's mother began to feel what? To feel what? Yeah. Unsafe. She felt unsafe, man. 
crazy stuff, crazy stuff, I'm telling you. And from that day on, from that day on, she started to feel unsafe, you know. Such a poor girl, you know. Do you remember the tornado? Mm -hmm. Buck. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a tornado. When he was 15, I am the composer's voice. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> Life is so hard and square. I have very sensitive body. I have very sensitive because main brains. I have very sensitive heart. Say goodbye to your father. Say goodbye to your mother. Being there, it's like a playground. The 24th of June, I slept like a tree with a face of devil on the other side of me. I have many visions around my neck. The loop tightens. Winter is coming and the empire never ended. Doesn't matter that I've only seen you there. I love you anyway. I can't live without you. I'm hiding within you. I follow you through so many worlds. I have nowhere else to go.
I clean and I clean. Where does all this dust come from? Listen to the newly installed shower. There, pizza, blackbirds, beach ball, diamond, black flip, windmill, picnic, softness. Hypnosis is what he knows best. I only remember that. Here, I was pregnant, I had twins, one of them dissolved in my body. When I look at the floor, I can only think about the carpenter, the guy who made sure there was a floor that I could walk on in this house. What if he's dead or sick? You only live once, they say. I saw this on TV, that's why I decided to go there, try to help stop the war. While I was sitting in taxi, I noticed the driver was looking at me and realized he thought that I was cute. So then I asked if he wanted to have sex with me. And he did. Then he got to. And unfortunately I missed my plane. So I never made to Syria. You okay. might not even recognize her on the street because she just looks like a... Uh... Like an avatar. No, she really oh, did. Like an avatar. I get it. Ah, I get it. I get it. Ah. Ah. Yeah, so maybe this she, is her actually in new body, isn't well, he? No, no. no, she died though. Uh, I don't know, but I carried her body out. But mm. maybe she, she respawned an avatar. What yeah. if she just respawned, man? Like she may, she, she may be respawned. Like, respond? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe yeah, she respawn yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, respawn, uh, respawn. Like uh, it's recreate like itself life. in a yeah. life after she life. Doesn't remember me? Because uh, she I don't remember. think so. Uh, yeah, uh, because you know, here uh, you don't die; you just respawn. I mean, you change your uh, whole memory, you change your avatar, and you just move on to the you think... know the, the different world. Well, Maybe she's, she's a she cat doesn't... in a kitty's world. I think that might be possible. I mean, This is reality. Do 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 do. Our thing is our fantasy. Do 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 do. We have to wave goodbye to our fantasies because they are always going berserk. 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 Hey, you. <laughs> Never mind. What are you doing here? You want to talk? I just, I just, I just look. You just look? Oh, that's fine. You want to hear some story? 
You wanna you wanna hear the most touching story? Yeah. Because this woman, this woman has a has an amazing story to tell. A really really touching one, you know. I was thirty six living in Israel, and it was May, and I woke up one morning, and my bed was very heavy. Oh and I stepped, and I stepped. Oh. but instead of standing up, I fell flat onto my face. And my whole left side was numb, I couldn't feel anything. The maple acres is a sacred. Go to the phone to call nine one one, and then by the time I got there, the feeling came back in my left side. And I called my niece. Your left side. I told your her left side. What happened? And she said, I probably had it some sort of sign. And then I went and I got myself to the hospital. And about an hour later, my sister came to me. And, and she said that our mother had a stroke. And her whole life. Danusha. Danusha. The doctor said I'm that she had a Yes. I'm your sister. It's, it's, it, I'm calling. I'm, I have to. I have to tell you something really terrible. I, I don't know I how to say know this. That but, you know. but what do you I know? I, with my back. I am your sister. And then uh, two days later, she died. I'm such a bad. And my sister <laughs> called me again. And I, I went outside. And I was walking around something square apart, and then I stopped on the head, and I was crying. And this homeless man yeah. with no teeth sat next to me and said, yeah. What's going on? And I said, My mom is right, and I am afraid I won't be able to handle the funeral. He asked, yeah. When is Let's the funeral? funeral? I said, I'm funeral. Here, And he said, You are right, you can't handle that today, but the funeral is not today. It's here, it's here. And uh, I went home, I, I booked the flight to Poland, and then on Saturday, I got on the plane. And when I got on the plane, I was afraid that in the middle of the flight, I'm going to fall apart and that I'm going to want to run out. But then I sat Maybe in my seat, and next to me was this Polish middle-aged man, and he started drinking vodka, and I said, great, an alcoholic. And then every time a sadness came over me, and, uh, and I was panicky, he touched my shoulder and said, look out the window. Look how amazing this Speak to me. And then I told him what was happening, but then he told me that his wife died three months before. Be and then, uh, was, la, la, la. Hello, hello, and then I doggy. got the phone, and I was still afraid that I'm not going to be able to handle seeing my mother not alive. And um, we decided as a family to have a process. So we went to pick up the body at the morgue, and so only the family could see her. And our whole family was standing around the casket. The casket was on the ground. And my sister and I sat down on the ground, and I, I was afraid to look at my mother, and our family was crying and hysterical. And then suddenly, suddenly I felt this incredible, I felt this incredible bliss that engulfed me. Like someone was kissing my insides and hugging my heart, my my liver, my guts, my, my, my guts, everything. Guts. 
for everything. And then I look at my sister. And my sister was sleeping. So she crawled for her. I'm trying to I'm trying to look at it. Are you feeling the same thing? And she said, yes. What is that? And I said, I think it's love. I think it's your love. And, uh, Hello. and then I looked at my my mother's body and she she looked horrible because they don't make and people up in Poland like they do in the US. They, she was burned because when she had a nice stroke, she was smoking a cigarette and there was a little fire. But what I felt was that I looked at her and she was no longer there. It was very clear to me that she was no longer there. And it was like an alien left its vessel. And uh, you're not. my mother just left this body because she didn't need it anymore. Fantastic. And I realized there was nothing sad about it. I just never imagined that I will be Do feeling this here? blissful joy during my mother's no. funeral. Just visiting. You don't let... Oh, so you're not from here. No. no. You're from mm -hmm. far? Another no galaxy. Way. Another galaxy. Wow. So you've you've traveled you've you've traveled a long way. A long way. Was it worth it? Yes. Yes. Hello. 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 I love you. Look. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Do you want to join me? Sure. We're dancing a little bit. <laughs> Hey, let's do like some story to dance. Sure. sure. Yeah. Let's do some street dance. Gosh. Like oh, your wow. <laughs> dancing. Thank you. Oh, beautiful flow. That's pretty. Yeah. You want to come to the Zoom? I'm going to the Zoom now. Don't go yet. Oh, sorry. I already see it. Uh, hello, Deandra. Um, no, no, Deandra, I just finished the stream, like, like, uh, I know, uh, you're still streaming? You guys are live now. Mm. We are live. This is live, Rob. Więc, uh, no, ale, uh, cut, cut it, cut it, uh, like, like, um, mm. Okay, I can go to credit, credit, go now.
Yeah, and and it's sanguine, and it's cut with like like. Uh, uh,